Leroy Campbell is a self-taught artist who has been painting scenes of African-American life and families for over 30 years. One of his signature styles is painting silhouettes with mouths but no faces. So, as he says, people can put their face or someone else's face in the painting. He also says his silhouettes have long, thin necks to remember to keep your head up. He uses contrasting colors to tell his stories. Today, you will create your very own Campbell-inspired silhouette. For this project, there are two ways you can complete this assignment. Either you can use paper and cut everything out to create the shapes of these silhouettes, these figures, in which case you'll need black paper and then you'll need some paper that you can use for the background. So I'm gonna use this blue here. And then because Leroy Campbell likes to use contrasting colors, I'm gonna be using this other blue and orange for his clothing or her clothing. Depends what I'm gonna do. Then I'll also need red paper to for the mouth, as well as a white crayon to add some highlights and details. For the background, I also have the this book that I had an extra, so I'm using this as the background, but if you have newspaper or magazines, you can also use that as well. If you don't have colored paper, you can create the same thing with white paper. So in this case, I have my white paper and I'll be drawing the silhouette with my black marker. I still will need some contrasting colors, so either purple and yellow, red and green, or blue and orange. So either of those with your black, and then you'll need red either way for the lips as well. You still will want, if you can, some kind of write, written word that you can collage onto the background. And if you have a white crayon, you'll still need that with scissors and glue. So it's really just a question of whether you're gonna use markers to get the silhouette and outline or whether you're gonna use colored paper. I'm gonna show you how to do both. Let's get started. The first way you can do this is using the colored paper and cutting out each piece you want. So starting with the black paper, I'm gonna draw an outline of a person in order to get my silhouette. A silhouette is the outline without any of the details that we usually see, like the pattern on my shirt or the color of my eyes. I'm gonna draw a person's body for this one silhouette, but you could also make your head bigger and only do the shoulders, which is the way we sometimes draw portraits. So it's up to you. I'll show you both ways. So I'm gonna do the hair. And again, you're not gonna see a lot of the detail, so I kinda want that space in between my neck and my hair. If you have short hair, you can always just go across the top. When you have your silhouette, cut it out, being careful to not cut anything off. So take your time and be really precise so that you get your silhouette. Okay, there's my first silhouette. Now here's another one where, as I said, you can make the head bigger and just focus on the neck and the shoulders. It's up to you. 
Now I'm using a white crayon to add just a little bit of definition around the shape of the head as well as around the hair. I am not adding any eyes or mouth or nose. I'm not adding any facial expressions. I'm just giving my hair and my face a little bit more detail. Now it's time for the mouth. So remember, Leroy Campbell says he likes to make the mouths nice and big so that people can see themselves in it, but he's not doing any other facial expressions. So I'm making my mouth nice and big and I'm making it red. Once I have the shape, I'm gonna use that white crayon again to add just a little bit of highlights by following the edge of my lips. Here it is bigger so you can really see the highlights. Next up, glue those down. If you would like to add some clothes to their silhouettes, you can trace your body over a colored piece of paper. So see, I'm back to that side and I'm tracing where I want my clothing to be. So it'll be the exact same as my silhouette. This one I did was a little bit more of an outfit than my one next to it, right? So the one on the other side will be a simple curved line along the bottom. So it just depends what you want your silhouette to look like. You could even make more than one. When you have it, glue it down so that your person has their clothes on. Now we just need to do the background. So I have my blue paper and I have these pages from a book that got a little bit water damaged. And instead of throwing it away, I'm going to take the pages that are still usable and glue them, collage them to my background because Leroy Campbell's work also has a lot of text backgrounds. So I'm kind of putting them on. I'm leaving a little bit of the blue peeking through so you can kind of layer them however you want. You could use a newspaper, you could use a magazine, anything you find that has some text on it. For this version, the last thing I need to do is glue my silhouette to my background. So go around the edge of your person and then line it up with the bottom, the two straight edges. All right, that is the first way if you have colored paper. If you don't, you can use markers. So I have a white piece of paper this time and I'm going to draw with a black marker a silhouette. Remember, I'm only focusing on the outline of my person. We want a long, thin neck. I'm going the shoulders instead of the whole body this time. And now with my red marker, I'm gonna add the lips. And I'm gonna try to keep a little bit of space that's white for my highlight. And now using my black marker again, I'm gonna start coloring everything in. So this might take a little bit of time, but if you don't have black paper, you can still do this project using either a black marker or a black crayon. Using a white crayon, I'm going to again outline my face, outline the hairline, and the neck. 
It may not stick out as much as on the black paper, but you'll still be able to see it if you press down hard and go over it a few times. Time to cut your silhouette out. Pause here until you're ready to move on. When you are using a white piece of paper and I still have some text to add, more pages, I'm gonna rip them up and start adding them to my white background. You've already seen the process before, so I'm gonna skip ahead. And now I'm gonna use a marker to add a little bit of color by going over a few of those pages so it's not all white background. I'm just gonna pick a couple and add a splash of color. Take your time and pause until you're ready. The last thing you have to do is glue your silhouette onto your background, just like before. And here I'm doing, I'm lining up the bottom so that the two bottom lines of my silhouette and the background line up. And there you have your Leroy Campbell silhouettes. I made a lot of them, so you can make more than one. Maybe make one for each member of your family. I can't wait to see.